Hi, my name is Dr. Megan Carreno. I'm a licensed clinical social worker and I'm also the creator of Stories, the Trauma Narrative Intervention. I've been through a lot of obstacles, I've been through a lot of challenges, I've been through a lot of traumas. There are a lot of experiences that I've had that I wish that I could take away, that I wish I could go back in time and erase. But unfortunately, there's no rewind button for life. I didn't grow up in a perfect household. I didn't grow up in a two-parent family. I didn't grow up in a calm um, living environment. I grew up without a father. I grew up feeling abandoned. I grew up struggling to understand my identity, to understand who I was and where I fit in. I grew up in the midst of um, contention, in the midst of conflict. I grew up seeing depression. I grew up feeling intense worry and sadness. I grew up throwing myself into my academics, into achievement, and trying to achieve perfection in an attempt to drown out the pain that was going on inside. I grew up believing that I had to take care of everyone around me. I grew up thinking that others' emotional worlds were my responsibility. When it was time for me to choose a career, it felt like social work was a perfect fit because I already knew how to be attuned to the emotional needs of other people. So I made it my goal to become a therapist, and not only a therapist, a trauma therapist. I studied any and everything trauma-related that I could in my undergraduate program, in my master's program, in my doctoral program. The unfortunate part is I experienced even more trauma in my path to become a trauma therapist. It's really, really hard to talk about this, and I applaud every single one of my clients that has had the courage to talk about the things that they have experienced. But this path has not been easy at all. I've had to fight for my life. I've been harmed physically, emotionally, psychologically. I've been sexually assaulted. I've experienced significant loss. I've been locked inside of a warehouse. I have been betrayed by people that I thought were trustworthy, people who I thought genuinely cared and were there for me. I know that sometimes things feel impossible. Some days things feel impossible for me as well. I'm creating this video and I'm sharing these things with you because I want you to know that you are not alone. Your story isn't over. My story isn't over. Our stories are not over. We have the opportunity to shape and change our stories for the future. Despite the difficult experiences that we've had in life, despite the roadblocks, the challenges, the difficulties, the hurt that we've experienced along the way, we can still grow. We can still move forward. We can still heal. We can still decide for ourselves what it is that we want for our future and who it is that we want to be.